Hey you guys, it's Jenna again. Hope you guys are doing good. Hope you could, you're doing good. Uh, I know I'm doing good. Enjoying my first day of two in a row off from work. So, you know. Um, what am I talking about today? What am I talking about? I am actually talking about um, Black Friday. Uh, or is it now is becoming Black Thursday, Thanksgiving. Um, now you all know I work in retail. I've been working in retail for many years now. Um, this whole Black Friday thing just, it's ridiculous. It's gotten to a point where it's just, it's so ridiculous and everything. It's, ugh, it makes me sick. Um, you know, especially now, uh, with like recent years where places are opening up on Thursday, on Thanksgiving, and ugh, it's like getting earlier and earlier, um, like, perfect example, like, when I first started at Target, which I started in beginning of 2013, um, so that, you know, following November was really my first Black Friday with the company, and I think that year, we were still opening at, like, 8 o'clock on Thanksgiving. It's now, I think, uh, last year they started doing this where they open up at 6 on Thanksgiving, which is ridiculous. Uh, thankfully, I don't have to come in on Thanksgiving, uh, but I know a lot of my fellow uh, co-workers have to. Um, and it's, you know, it's, it's, there's a lot more to it than just like whoever's, you know, working that night, um, you know, people who are cashiers or guest service, working in electronics, but you know, whatever, managers and stuff. It's much more than just them coming in, you know, at like 5.30 or whatever and then, you know, opening the store at 6 and being open until 11 p.m. on the following Friday, the next day on Friday. Um, you know, you have to also, and this is pretty like much for most retail places that are opening up on Thursday. So it's not just Target. I'm not just singling out my own company um you know there's a lot more that goes into it besides just people showing up at like 5 30 to you know work um because you have to take in consideration that people have to also come in during thursday during the day on thursday on thanksgiving to set up these promotions that we have and different things in the store and signage for um you know for black friday or black thursday um, now, easily, I know a lot of people would be like, well, set this stuff up, um, you know, on Wednesday, you know, like, no big deal. Well, we really can't because if that were to be, then people are going to see these displays and be like, oh, that's a Black Friday item. I'm going to go buy it now and try and dispute it at the register and try and get it for the Black Friday price. So, you know, we can't, you know, start setting this stuff up until really the next day. Um, easily, I know we could, you know, do an overnight and do that, but you're still, you know, kind of screwing people over because you're asking people to come in overnight Wednesday night into Thursday for Thanksgiving, and they're still probably going to not really get much of Thanksgiving. So it kind of is a crapshoot for a lot of places. Um, you know, I don't think a lot of people, like, a lot of, like, consumers think about that, about, you know, people in retail, whether it's Target, Best Buy, Walmart, uh, you know, any one of these places that opens on Thursday on Thanksgiving, that amount, the amount of, like, time and manpower that goes into before the store opens to get everything set up. Um, so it just... It sucks, you know, um, and easily I know, uh, you know, it's very easy for people who don't work retail who or who have never worked in retail to be like, well, if you don't like it, then, you know, go find another job that, you know, isn't going to be open on a Thanksgiving, which, yeah, I, I kind of agree, but think about it. If, say, like, if I were still in guest service, I would be like, you know what, I'm done with this, I'm going to go, like, work at you know, a bank or something or, you know, whatever, something that you're not going to be having to work on Thursday, um, you know, they're just going to hire some other 
poor soul who's going to get stiffed with this and having to work Thanksgiving. Um, you know, I mean, even, you know, having to be at work like the next day on Friday sometimes sucks. Like this year, um, like obviously since I work in Delhi, um, my department's not going to be showing up on Thursday night. Really not. Um, but I mean, I have to come in at 5 a.m. on Friday, which is a normal shift, you know, so I'm not even upset that I have to be in at work to do my job at 5 a.m. on Friday. I'm really not. Because like I said, it's a it's a normal shift for me. Um, but for others, it's, you know, knowing that, you know, I'm going to be showing up and some of these people have been there all night. My heart goes out to them. And um, I know a lot of places um, like ask their employees like if they can work on Thursday but that's really not always the case like I remember the first year I was there um at Target um you know they were supposed to go around and asking ask everyone like hey you know what can you work what can you work on Thursday no one ever asked me I was never once asked and uh, like I said that year we were still opening at 8 on Thanksgiving and I had to show up at 7 45 p.m and work until 4.45 in the morning. So, poor little Jenna missed Thanksgiving that year. My family was pretty upset, but I was like, you know what, it's retail. Um, and it's kind of the you know, same thing this year. Like, they were supposedly asking everyone kind of like what they were available, if they were willing, if they were interesting. And I've heard since the schedule came out for next week, uh, a, about a week ago, I've heard quite a few people say, like, you know, that's kind of BS because I was never asked. Like, I'm I'm missing Thanksgiving this year. Um, you know, I, a couple of people who I heard say, like, oh, yeah, I got to come in, you know, Thursday at, like, noon and work until, like, 7 or something. So it's like, you know, my heart goes out to those people. Like, you know, it, it sucks. I feel like it sucks for them. You know, it's kind of, you know, it, it just, it sucks knowing that they're going to have to work and, you know, it's all because, you know, I work for a company who's trying to compete with Walmart that's down the street because Walmart's going to be open. Um, you know, it's, and for me, like, I get, I get why people get excited for Black Friday because there's a lot of good deals, you know, I mean, you can get a good price on a PS4 or an Xbox or whatever, TVs and stuff, but is it is it really worth compromising those people who have to be stuck there and work to, you know, get that good deal? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, you know, and I do have, you know, a few regular regulars over the years who come up to me and they're like, dude, like, ugh, this sucks. Like, I just, I don't even go in anywhere on Thanksgiving or even Black Friday because I just... I so condone the whole notion of it. And I, I appreciate when people say that to me because it's like, okay, you know, there are some people out there who get it and who kind of do their own little protest and not, um, you know, participate in it. And I know it's not going to change anything for a handful of people not to show up, but it is, um, from my standpoint, working in retail, it's, you know... I appreciate it because I feel like there are a few people out there who are like, kind of got our backs. Um, but, I don't know. It just, and you know, honestly, some of the deals, at least for like Target, uh, like some of the deals we have, like I know every year we have um, a, this brand of TVs called, um, called Elements. They're like Element brand TVs. And we sell them for like dirt, dirt cheap on Black Fridays. Black Thursdays, whatever you want to call it. And honestly, it's like every time, like I remember like the first year that I did Black Friday, I was up at guest service and I would see all these Element TVs going to the checkouts, strolling by. And I'm just like, oh, worst decision ever. It's not worth the 30 bucks. It really isn't. It's like the one of the crappiest brands of TVs ever. Like you're, you just kind of came in at eight o'clock to buy a shitty ass TV for 30 bucks. Should have waited, invested maybe another 50 bucks and bought a better TV for like 80 to 100 bucks. Just saying, just saying. Um, but yeah, it just like, you know, for anyone who does do this, 
Um, like, once again, like, I understand why people, you know, like Black Friday, because, you know, you save money, and, like, I, you know, I'm in the same boat as a lot of people, like, you know, I don't have a ton of money to spend on, like, presents and stuff for, like, my nieces and my nephew, my parents and stuff, um, you know, but it's, like, just working in retail and seeing the whole process is, like, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Um, you know, and like I said, it's, it's not, you know, just Target. It's kind of, like, overall. I'm just kind of, like, discussing my little experiences with, uh, with Target. Um, because actually, like, the last place I worked at, uh, Lowe's Home Improvement, like, we never opened on, like, Thursday. I think this was, like, when I was working for Lowe's, it was kind of, like, right around when places started to make it earlier and earlier for Black Friday. Um, I think some places kind of had started to open, um, on Thursday, like, maybe, like, midnight, I think, at the earliest, they would, uh, some places would be open, which, it's a little better, but it's still, like, you know, because you figure if people are coming in at midnight, you know, they're probably going to be there till at least, like, four in the morning, so you gotta, like, go home and try and, like, load up on some sleep so you're still getting screwed, um, like, that's, you know, the reason why, like, the first year I was working at Target, I missed, um, Thanksgiving was because I was like, oh, crap, dude, I gotta be there till like, you know, almost five in the morning, I gotta get sleep, I gotta be standing at guest service, like, passing out, I can't, um, but yeah, I, like, we never opened, um, at least my store, I don't know if it's any different now for Lowe's, but I know, I think the earliest, I think the last play of uh, the, blah, 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 the last Black Friday that, uh, my store was open for, um, I think we opened at, like, four in the morning, which was, like, eh, okay, it's, it, you know, wasn't as bad, but literally that was only, like, two hours, um, earlier than what, like, the store actually opened, because I know, like, the store opens at six, um, so they pushed it back, the opening of the store at, like, four, which is a little better, uh, like I said, I mean, like, this year, like, you know, I got to go in at 5 a.m. anyway to do a normal shift. So it's like, for me, it wouldn't even be a big deal. Um, but yeah, I think it's just really ridiculous that, you know, places are starting to be open on Thanksgiving. It's like, I'm almost thinking, like, how, like, you know, how much further are we going to push it? Are, you know, are places just going to automatically be open on Thanksgiving? Like, you know... Um, you know, once again, I know, like I said, like, yeah, easily, you know, if I don't like it or if someone doesn't like it, quit and find a different job. But, you know, someone else, they're just going to hire someone else who's going to have to be stuck working it. Um, you know, like, obviously, I think something that uh, places should do, like, if they are going to open early, like a little bit earlier, by no means should they be you know, opening, like, even at midnight on Thursday or whatever, going into Friday, like, I think, like, for example, like, Target, once again, Target, not to, like, single out Target or anything, like I said, I'm just using it as an example since I've worked there, um, like, our store, we open at 8 a.m. every day, that's standard, that's every day, no matter what, um, I think, like, the earliest we should open is, like, the, you know, next day after, Thanksgiving that Friday at, say, like, 6 a.m., you know? Like, I think that's kind of acceptable. Um, but it's still, you know, once again, you've got, you know, people who um, have to come in, like, you know, before the store opens, maybe even the day before, to having to set up these, these displays and stuff for all these deals and promotions. So it just, in my opinion, this whole, like, Black Friday thing, it's... It, you know, once again, it's getting out of control, you know, all over the place, you know, like I said, once again, you know, it's, you see it at Best Buy, you see it at Kohl's, like, my mom just got a, a thing from Kohl's in the mail, like, a little flyer, uh, promoting their Black Friday, and they, too, are opening at 6 a.m., or not 6 a.m., at 6 p.m. on Thanksgiving. Like, stop, like, people need to stop coming in, lining up at places, and giving in to the um, the whole Black Friday machine. Like, it needs to stop. Um, 
you know, because it's one thing to be like, oh, yeah, you know, that sucks. Oh, you know, it's, it's one thing to, like, say something, but it's going to be a much bigger impact if people just stop showing up at places. Um, although, it, it, you know, it, like, it would suck if, like, that were to ever happen. Like, no, it's not going to happen. Sorry, something just fell. I'm like, I don't know what it is. I'm scared. I think I got a ghost. Um, whatever. Anyway. So, what was I saying? Um, about, like, not showing up to Black Friday. That's what I was saying. Um, like, part of me I would love to see just, like, one year, like, everyone across the board, across the country, just be like, you know what? We're not going. We're not doing the whole, like, Thanksgiving stores opening up at 6 or whatever and getting deals. Like, I would love to see that. Maybe people, maybe these corporations would wise up and be like, oh, yeah, we're screwing a lot of people over. Just saying. Just saying. Because, I mean, think about it. Once you guys come in to get your stuff, you can go home, rest up a little bit, and go to bed. Not us. Not us. So, um, I don't know. I think people just need to, like, you know... Think a little more before they decide, ooh, hey, you know, Best Buy has this TV for, you know, this, like, 96-inch TV for, you know, 50 bucks. Let's go get it. Like, if you stop and think about it, what is it really worth to you? Is it really worth going in there and making a bunch of people have to be there overnight and miss family time? You know, and, it, like, and I know not everyone that works in retail, like, I certainly know there's a lot of uh, employees in my store that don't celebrate Thanksgiving. They don't celebrate, you know, like, Christmas or anything. Um, you know, but I would have to say, and this might be, this probably is true for majority of retail stores where about, you know, I would say 75 to 85% of the employees do celebrate. So, you know, just to, you know, have something for you guys to think about, you know, like, like I said, you know, think about it, like, you know, you know, not even a minute, like, there's some times where I see stuff where I'm like, ooh, you know, that is a pretty good deal, but I would never go into a place and be like, ooh, hey, I'm gonna go to Best Buy and get a PS4 for, you know... 95 bucks, you know, because it's worth it. I want one and I don't have the money to buy full price. It's, I wouldn't do it. I personally wouldn't do it. Um, like I, like I said this year, you know, I'm not coming in on Thanksgiving to work. I'm coming in, uh, Friday to do no normal shift. Like I wouldn't, I am certainly not going to be standing outside my own store or Best Buy or Walmart or whatever to go get a deal. I'm really not. So, you know, I, I ask of you people who do go, who do look forward to this, because I know some people, this is a little, a little bit of a tradition every year. It's become a tradition for a lot of people to go have Thanksgiving dinner, and then you and your, you know, family or, you know, whoever the girls are going to go in, you know, do some Black Friday Christmas shopping and stuff. I get it. I get there's like a little bit of a tradition with it, but at what cost are you going in for this? You know? Like, think about it. Like, think about the people that you're affecting by, you know, kind of caving into the whole corporate scene for letting them kind of keep pushing it back further or, you know, sooner and sooner of Black Friday and everything. So, you know, before you guys go hit the streets next week, next Thursday, really, you know, think think to yourself, is it really worth sacrificing someone else's time to have to be at a place, getting, first off, getting stuff set up, getting everything together, making sure we have everything, to opening a store at 6 p.m. and people have to wait around and wait on you all night and probably missing out on Thanksgiving dinner and, you know, the holidays with their family. And also, too, keep in mind, because um, I know a lot of people are like, well, might be thinking like, well, if you don't like it, then ask for the day off. Um, here's the thing in retail. We have what is called blackout dates, which you cannot request time off for at all. I mean, unless if there's, there's certain exceptions, like say if like there's like a family emergency or something, but that's 
you know, really the only exception. Like, they're not, like, if I wanted to take off, um, you know, like, that week of Thanksgiving for whatever reason, like, oh, you know what, I'm going to go to California, I'm going to go visit my, my relatives out there, Target would be like, no, no, we need you here. Like, no, we, we're not doing it for anyone else. Why would we do it for you? Um, so, yeah, so there's the blackout dates that, you know, like I said, most retail places have where they're, like, especially this time of the year with, like, all the holidays coming up and everything, week of Christmas and all that, where there's these blackout dates that they will not let you request off. Like, you request it off, they're going to automatically deny it. You know, like I said, unless if there's, you know, like in a family emergency or something, but they're not going to just let you request it off because it's like, oh, well, no, I have to go visit my family. We're going to have Christmas. They're going to be like, then, you know, go find somewhere else to work. So, you know, like I said, just for you guys, you know, as someone who works in retail and someone who's kind of, uh, making a little bit of voice for people who work in retail. Like I said, before you hit the stores next week, please consider, you know, what that means to people who work in retail and who have to be at these stores. Um, I don't necessarily want to say against their will, um, but, you know, are kind of forced to have to come in, sacrifice time with their families so you can come in and get your crappy element TV for 30 bucks. Just saying, just saying. Um, but anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to wrap it up, you guys. And please, you know, I, like, I'm not saying that this video is going to change everyone's mind and no one's going to show up this year to Black Friday. But please, like I said, just think about it and consider what you are asking retail employees to sacrifice, you know, so... Uh, so with that in mind, um, you know, happy holidays, everyone. Um, but anyway, you guys have a great rest of your day and stay classy and creepy, y'all.